The main reason we're here today is for me Sir. to get my manuscript back. Sir. We don't seem to be talking about that. She I, had I'm my talking property. About it. I'm talking about it. And I'm asking you, why didn't you file that missing persons report like you claimed you were going to do on that voicemail? You weren't really concerned. What you wanted her to do was call you back. You weren't concerned about her well-being. Now, let me ask Whatever. you. I'm sorry? Whatever. Whatever? Yeah, well, I want my manuscript back. You might no not get it, sir. what I was doing. Because the way you're responding right now, we're going to get to that manuscript. Right now, we're addressing your behavior, okay? Okay. And let's address the comments. What comments was he making about trying to find, what, an Asian wife? So he started uh, dating on this website and trying to find an Asian bride. And so he would pull me over to show his latest girl and who he was chatting with. Is that appropriate? What she say? What's, what's inappropriate? Is it appropriate to discuss who you're dating, wanting to find an Asian wife to a client who's Asian, insinuating that you might want to date her because what he said you were taken? Yeah. Too bad you're taken. I have to. On top of the dinner invites and the repeated calls, is this appropriate behavior? Apparently not to you. I think if I took a poll of the gallery, they'd probably agree with me. Go ahead and take a poll then. Let's get to the manuscript that you say that she owes you $6,000 for. How do you come to that number? I had another client who had read a portion of the script and he was saying, I could put you in touch with the right people if you want. I said, what do you think they would offer me for something like this? He said, it'd probably be something like five to $25,000 or maybe more. He said, it looks to me like you've really got something here. I said, okay, but I got to get it typed up. And I explained that to her. She volunteered and said, I'll type it up for you. And you gave her a copy of the original script. I gave her the only copy I had. Is that true? That is not true. He has a printer in his office. He gave this to me in his office, and I specifically said, do not give me the original if in case I lose it or something happens. And he also wasn't finished. Ms. Hyun, at some point, you wanted to stop typing it up. Yes. Tell us why that was. Well, I got halfway through, and there was some very graphic sexual content involving minors. And for me, I just couldn't continue with helping him morally. Was that part of the story, sexual content involving minors? Yes. So you could understand why that would upset somebody or bother somebody? Some people, yes. You told us in your complaint, I didn't understand why it bothered Christine. I don't understand when somebody has volunteered to type something up, it's not like they're becoming part of the story. They're just typing it up. And you claim that you never got back a copy of the manuscript? I wouldn't be here today if I got it back. Okay, well, let's talk about that. Have you been involved in 50 lawsuits over the last 10 years? Absolutely no. How many have you been involved in in the last 10 years or so? Talking about small claims court? Any type of lawsuit. Maybe seven or so. Do you know of anybody else in the Los Angeles area named Dennis Postian? No. I'm good. All right, we'll excuse the parties and we will deliberate. Thank you very much. This courtroom is now in recess. This is a first for us, a plaintiff who claims a loan and claims that he had a valuable manuscript with absolutely no evidence. And, you know, we often see litigants who maybe don't document their loans, but individuals who don't have any proof face a pretty high burden coming to court, especially when you're comparing them to someone like the defendant, who I think was one of the best evidence-producing litigants mm, we've yeah, seen. Yeah, pretty organized. She came in with her ducks in a row. Everything we wanted to see to verify her story, she had. I don't believe there was a $900 loan, but even if there was, the statute of limitations on that has passed. Oral contracts in California have a one-year mm. statute of limitations, absent some other extraordinary circumstances. So that one's pretty easy for me to dispense with. I would deny his claim. I'm interested to hear what you two think about the script. <laughs> <laughs> it really isn't plausible that he would give a product that he worked on totally to someone and not keep a copy. Now, he may not remember that he got it back, so I think that he's failed on, on all counts to meet his burden of proof. He came in here, like you said, as a plaintiff with no evidence, and honestly, his behavior towards the defendant throughout the number of years that she was a patient, unacceptable. Yeah. And for him to not even concede that his behavior, take some accountability, that it was inappropriate, mm -hmm. really rubs me the wrong way. And it calls into question his credibility. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So I think we have I a agree. verdict. 